hey good morning you guys so i know it's been a minute i haven't really been in the right energy or i haven't felt you know like touching the cards so i but i feel like that i don't touch them um because <clears throat> what people people don't realize is that your energy um affects others right so if i'm not in the best space and i'm touching the cards uh that will affect the readings so <clears throat> a lot of people ask me remember when remember when we you were younger and they had in the paper when your mom would re read the paper and they had like the daily horoscope section this is what this reminds me of okay um it's like your daily horoscope reading if you guys remember that when you were younger this is what this reminds me of give me a message relationship your primary relationship is with yourself and god and every other relationship follows from there to attract heal or balance a relationship then snuggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and love within so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper i would really say <clears throat> that that's correct the most important relationship that you will have is with god and with yourself god first self second um and when it comes to love relationships because this is where i focus loving yourself having self-love is so important because when you love yourself it doesn't matter what anybody else's intentions are because that love for yourself will stop most of us get taken advantage of or done wrong in relationships because of lack of self-love right i could meet somebody and they could have the total wrong intention but the love that i have for myself will stop me from being hurt because as soon as that person does anything that shows me that their intention is not correct the love that i have for myself will remove me from the situation but because many of us do not love ourselves okay we allow people to do things to us and then you know we take on the whole victim mentality of oh they did this and they did that to us well yeah they did but your lack of self-love is what allowed it okay so i happen to agree with this card the most important relationships in this life that you will have is the relationship that you have with god and yourself a healthy balance of those two relationships will make all of your other relationships healthy children you know family that type of thing but it says in the book this card signals that you're entering a more positive phase in your relationships as the picture on the card shows you're now out of the forest and entering an area filled with light and beauty like the angel portrayed on the card you just need to hang on a little while longer um so additional meanings for this card the answer to your question lies within your relationship trust your feelings about your current relationship and act accordingly so that means trust your gut the angels are helping you <clears throat> manifest a wonderful new relationship send a positive transition is occurring in a current relationship okay it and even that can mean a healthy ending okay it doesn't have to mean that okay you're going to be with this person it could mean just a healthy mutual ending is coming also but we'll we'll play some cards on it so i'm going to pull what you may experience positive today in love what you may experience negative today in love and the advice okay so positive is the five of swords in reverse so somebody may come towards you with an apology somebody may come towards you and be sorry for what they've done or what they did to you okay <clears throat> negative you may experience a lack of communication in your current relationship or a lack of movement a lack of changes okay in your relationship and the advice is telling you page of swords in reverse the advice is telling you that so i get a feeling that you guys aren't communicating and it's saying to leave it like that and to not communicate with this person okay 
So, Five of Swords in reverse. Why is the Five of Swords here? A lot of reverse cards. All of them are reverse, actually. <clears throat> well, yeah. This person did some shady stuff to you. Seven of Swords in reverse. Could be dealing with an air sign. So, I feel like somebody may be feeling guilty about what they did to you. And they may want to apologize here with this Seven of Swords in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse. Both of those cards are cards of manipulation, lying, cheating. Five of Swords in reverse is about doing, this is somebody who will do anything um, <clears throat> in order to win. This is somebody who plays games. So, yeah, this person may be feeling guilty about the way that they did you and they want to apologize. Okay, two cards fell out. Negative. I think this person has made a decision to not communicate with you or not change or make anything or make any changes to this relationship at this current time. They may be overthinking things with this eight of swords, but they feel trapped in their thoughts. Okay. About this. So even though they're trapped in their thoughts, they have also made a decision. They're no longer at a crossroads here. They have made a decision to, <clears throat> sorry my nails they have made a decision to not communicate and not make any changes in this relationship at, a, at this time so the advice is the page of swords in reverse it's a lot of air energy here you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius um but this page of swords is somebody who's very immature especially when it comes to communication but the advice from tarot is telling you to leave it that way and not communicate with this person why is the page of swords here in reverse Queen of Swords in reverse. They could not be communicating with you due to an ex that they are still in communication with. But also this person um, could just be this Queen of Swords in reverse. They could be not communicating with you based on the way that you're acting. Queen of Swords in reverse is not um, is not nice energy. Um, this is somebody who is very head over heart, very methodical, very logical, doesn't deal with a lot of feelings or doesn't deal in her feelings. Um, has a very sharp tongue, okay? You can see that by the sword. So you may have said something or had some very sharp communication with this person that was cutting, um, and that's why you guys aren't communicating, but it's telling you to leave it that way. Give me one more on the advice. If you have cut this person out of your life already, this is saying to leave it. Give me one more. The advice is to stop juggling. So you could be, <clears throat> you could be going back and forth with whether or not you want to even be involved with this. Um, and this is telling you to stop juggling and to just leave it alone. You could be juggling between one or more person. I see where there could be an age difference here, here with the person that you're dealing with. You could be older and they could be younger with that page of swords. Um, but this is telling you to stop juggling. So you could be juggling two people, juggling, um, making a decision if you want to stay or go and this is saying to just leave it alone okay leave it the way it is let's pull Tetris tarot you know what that's gonna bother me so positive is like I said they may feel guilty or they want to apologize for something that they did what did they do what did they do What did they do? King of Wands. So this person was a player. This person already was probably in a commitment. And that's where this Queen of Swords comes from in the outcome. But this person was a player. King of Wands in reverse. He may have lost the passion or desire to pursue this further. Um, but definitely was a player and probably was dealing up by my deck that you don't see. Ten of Pentacles. This person was already maybe in a marriage. But if nothing else, a very committed relationship. So he played games with you and lied about his status. <clears throat> and he feels guilty about it and wants to apologize. So you may get an apology today. Okay. But I feel like negative after you get that apology, you won't hear from them anymore. I feel like they're going to cut communication. Give me a message. 
message. Yeah, message. <laughs> wow. You know, it is so... <laughs> I just said this, okay? They are not over their ex. And they may be cutting communication with you because they've went back to that person and tried to work on the uh, relationship. This queen of swords, like I said, in the reverse is normally an ex. Upright or reverse, that's normally an ex. Um, but they're not over that situation. They may have been juggling you and that person because they weren't sure. Give me another message. They are not emotionally available. They aren't emotionally available to you because of what they have going on. Um, and that's why they feel trapped with this Eight of Swords in reverse. I mean, in the Eight of Swords in upright, they can't be emotionally available and open to you because they haven't closed out what they were doing previously, okay? And give me one more. Give me one more. Hmm. Move on. This is a waste of time. Okay. So that's why the advice is telling you that if you guys aren't communicating to leave it that way, this will not move in the direction, or at least it won't today. You know, people change tomorrow. I could pull and it'd be totally different. Um, but as of today, this won't move in the direction that you would like it to. Okay. So I hope this was helpful for you and I'll speak to you soon.